Hey, welcome back to my playthrough of Dark Souls 3. My name is Paper, and we're going to be going to the Dragon Zone. Uh, I just have to remember the fastest way to it. I think is this way. Oh, wait, did I ever... No, I never did come back here and do this stuff. Um... I don't remember where the other item is, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a gem or something, so... But there's something else that's like behind a locked door, I'm pretty sure. Man, this stuff sounds awful. Anyways. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the zone, though. Um, I'll probably actually end up getting the, uh, the other sword that I used to be using up to level 10. Just because the dragon guy. Oh my gosh, I'll probably have to summon like two people for, for that fight. It gets crazy. Um, but I'll, tr I'll try it solo a few times. Um, so you want to come here and just, uh, I don't know, do what everybody else is doing. Wrong buttons. Oh, I have to... And you just hang out. So this is another scene I always skip, so I don't remember how we actually get there. I assume it's the Flying Buddies. These guys love transporting us places. If, if it's the people I think it is. Maybe it's just, uh, I just teleport. Did kind of hear them though. All right. Okay. I don't remember. I don't remember this place super great. I remember people hit you with like fireballs a lot. This is like the... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of snake people here. Here's the snake people. Alright. Snake people are weak to giant axe. Oh! Tricked me. Oh! Ow! Uh oh. Hey, lightning gem. I think this is a lightning gem also. Nice. Alright, uh, let's continue onward. I don't think there's anything down below. I want to get up here anyways. This is a shortcut kind of later-ish. Oh, crap! chasing me. No? I'm crazy? Oh, 
there's one there though. Alright, and we've made it to the first, um, whatever, this thing, bonfire. Um, I'm okay for right now, we'll continue on. I didn't notice that. If I remember right, there's a big guy up here. And a couple little guys. Oh, I see the big guy. Thought that guy was already dead. Hello. Oh no. Oh. Can I? No. Just checking. His butt is safe from my attack. Oh no. Oh no. There. Jeez. Awful giant dude. Alright. Um. Yeah, I, re I remember this. I know this fight. This is a weird fight. By the way. ring. Alright. Oh, there's a statue of the guy that has the cool hair that we're gonna get. But, um... It doesn't look like we can see the dragon anywhere. I feel like we'd be able to see him. I remember him being enormous. I think we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna heal back up to full. And go for it. Because this is a weird fight. You really just have to make it past him and jump on his head. It feels kind of like an old Mario game. Get everything later easier when there's not a giant dragon. And then you really just want to get inside as fast as possible. Um, another thing that you could do, which I'm not doing, is just run past all of these guys. Could have just kept running and tried ditching everybody, which works. Um, and I'll probably do it soon. Not yet. I like being able to rest for a second. Oh no. 
Oh, on its way back. All right, that's where I should have probably stayed a second um, and fought everybody again. We'll be more careful this time. Oh. Oh, what's that? Did I not grab an item up there? Dang it. We're right here. Oh, well. I'm not too worried about it. Let's just go back into it. being careful. <laughs> Should I just try the method of just running past everybody and hoping I can make it? Sounds good. We'll do that. What's going to be hilarious is uh, I fail coming on to the, this one. So far, so good. try and remember to speed this next part up and <laughs> and we'll just uh, keep doing run fast mode because I like this one faster or better and faster see you guys Okay. Oh, gosh. 
Okay. Now we just have to run forward. And jump on his head over here. So I totally missed his head before. I had to run it again. So I'm gonna wait until after he does this. And we're gonna go. All right, easy peasy. Oh. Got the dragon headstone also. Which uh, starts transforming you into a dragon, I'm pretty sure. This is the place I remember a little bit better. You can actually um, hear uh, an enemy will summon somebody for you to fight. It's that like that sound that just went off, and now there's this guy to fight. Hey, cool. Um, and you can kind of just screw around and fight <coughs> this guy over and over and over again. Um, interesting thing, though, is later on where we are, you can actually run into a, uh, a Dark Souls favorite. Ooh, I think I'm getting invaded. Dark Spirit Patches. Well, this is not fair. I think he's going to get uh, that guy to help him. Hold on, maybe we can get him to come fight us over in this little corner. Wait, somebody else just come in? Oh, I keep forgetting I'm part of Blue Concord. Did I just get a helper? Hello. fight you and that guy. Oh, we got a blue sentinel coming. <laughs> oh. hey. Goodbye. Thank you, blue sentinel. Oh, that guy got, uh, Two shot. Yeah, um. <laughs> I haven't done any PvP with this weapon. It is really powerful. It is hard to hit people with, so, um, yeah. But, as you can see, when I hit him, stunned him, and I was able to hit him again, so I pretty much one shot him from being able to touch him. Oh! I was in the middle of talking about that stupid dude that gets t uh summoned here um a it's a really cool way or easy way of <clears throat> i don't know if it's really cool it's probably pretty boring actually of um getting pretty decent experience um pretty easily as long as you can kill these guys pretty easily um 
but yeah, later on you run into Havel in the game or in this level. Um, and you can fight him and kill him, but until you do, this person can actually summon Havel down here also. Um, I can't remember. I don't think the kill counts. Like, I think you still have to fight the real Havel, even if you fight him down here. I might be wrong about that, though. I can't remember. Ooh. Timing worked. But yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to get lucky and see Havel anytime soon. We'll see what we get this time. Try one more. Ooh, dodge. Oh. Jeez. And Pavel? No. Oh well. So, uh, I'm going to end this episode here. I remember this next part being a pretty long zone and difficult. So I want to uh, be surprised if I die a few times. Um, also, we could unlock a bunch of shortcuts back to where we were. Um, I've never understood them. I guess they're a good way to... Uh, like if you actually killed everybody on the way up to the dragon fight... Which I didn't. Um, I guess that'd be a good way to get back into that zone and grab loot you might have skipped. But I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we can go back there and grab a bunch of stuff. But if I, if I remember right, I think all we really want now is like some Titanite chunks. Ah. That's about it. Um, I do like... Uh, of course, fashion souls, you know, so cool looking armor and stuff. Ooh, I could just get this too. That way I'd have four of them. Four other weapons I could get to level 10. Oh, and, and I might have been wrong about the fine, like, there might not be a finite amount of these. It just might be really pain in the ass to get them, at least in one playthrough. Um, no, nothing, nothing Fashion new. One. I haven't looked at what strength weapons I have for, for the fight that's coming up. We could do Zweihander. Uh, Greatsword, always could do that one. That's a good one. Um, I could level up Foom <laughs> and use the Foom Ultra Great Sword. That could actually be fun. I might do that. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, Small's Great Hammer. Yeah, we don't have a ton of choices. Um, I actually kind of like the idea of leveling up Foom up to a plus 10. Foom. I, I know... I, I'm pretty sure it's not near as good as it used to be. It used to be uh, an amazing weapon. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's still pretty fun. It's a big freaking weapon. It's even heavier than what we have right now. Um, which I'm pretty sure what we have right now is the same as the greatsword. I was like, why can't I find it? But it wouldn't be on the upgrade list. Yeah, 20. But, uh, let's see if we can sell... Oh, did that guy disappear? No, he's still there. I'm 
pretty much done everything. If he wants to go pillage something. You know about leaving for an... I'm aware. Not a single... But I don't want to sit around and I consider my... Sure. Thank you for telling me. Uh, just in case he dies, let's buy stuff. Uh... Okay, so these are for boss weapons, and these are for uh, just special weapons. Right? Should I buy these in case he dies? By divine blessings from him too. I never use them though. Ah, uh, I don't care. Goodbye. About them, so I, will leave for... I believe he'll come back anyways. Ah. I'm just getting rid of some souls. Um. Ashen one. We kill anybody new? Oh yeah, ocelot guy, invisible baby. Oh yeah, these dancer weapons were really fun too. I don't think they're good, um, I, and I'm pretty sure I just got them like on my first playthrough because I just liked how they looked. I mean, they uh, do look cool too. Uh, one is yeah, one is magic damage, and the other one's fire damage. Um, so it's a weird, weird mix, but really fun. Oh yeah, and that's how you get the moonlight great sword in this game. That's a really fun weapon for a uh, wizard. I have forgot so much about this. Ooh, I could up my vigor, endurance, and vitality, but take more damage? Uh, Old King Great Hammer. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything that I'd like to use as strength. I guess Yorm's Machete is pretty cool. Um, I do think I'm just going to go ahead and buy that just because... And let's see what levels we can get. Maybe we can get two? They're starting to cost a whole lot. Oh, yeah. Now I can give her eyes if I want. Very well, then I need to look up what that does. I don't remember. And anyways, I have a bunch of DLC. I have a lot of time to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to start actually working on strength to 50. <laughs> Because why not? Plus that'll Ashen help the most this next place. May the flame. And yeah, we'll go ahead and Magic we're gonna go with the foom. Reinforce one, two, three, four, and one of my slabs. Pretty be careful. I don't want to set. Yep. So, I'm going to have to change my gear, probably my pants, most important. Oh my gosh, uh, I could go down to a loincloth and be alright. <laughs> Yeah, this is a hell of a weapon, though. I 
in pretty much the same attack pattern as the greatsword. I think a bit longer. The R uh, strong attack is sweet though. Um, tracking on it, I remember being once upon a time really good. I think that's why it used to be such a good weapon. I think they screwed it up or something now. Or at least made it so it wasn't constantly tracking people. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> we'll try out this weapon. In fact, we probably should have checked out. Maybe we can get a uh, enchantment also. Just what neat. Uh, infuse. Nope, we can't infuse it. That makes sense. And I think because it's a uh, one of the unique weapons. We could infuse the great sword, but we're not going to be using it. Yeah, we could change it into. Oh, we're blessed. So blessed is strange. Um, scales with faith, but. Uh, it's actually careful. something I should probably look into, so I wouldn't even have to use a shield. Um, free up 1.5 pounds. Uh, <laughs> I could wear a skirt if I wasn't wearing that. Um, uh, but yeah, it does... Uh, sorry, it's a huge brain fart. I totally forgot what we were talking about. Um, it does blessed, so it does... Uh, health regen over time uh, so fun for some builds though anyways i'll catch you guys next time thank you for watching and uh have a good one bye